What's up guys, Ricky here with another review on the Platinum Edition McFarlane Toys Disruptor from Spawn. Uh, so I got this one off eBay, because uh, I couldn't find it anywhere else, but I really wanted to get it. So here we go. So it looks like in the package they have gold plastic, and it looks like they dry brushed a little brown on there. It looks like, at least it looks like that right now. Looks like we have gold on the shoulders, but they added some silver, which is really cool. You have a purple cloak this time. You have black armor with a white cross on the front. Looks like it's inspired by the anti-spawn from the original one, which is pretty cool. Which was also Jason Wynn, by the way. Uh, you get some gold tones there. You got silver on the knees, and it looks like they did a wash on the silver, but not on the gold. So that would definitely be an opportunity to make it pop a little better and look a little better there. Uh, comes with the same energy effects. Then you have some extra hands and a base, and there's that Platinum Edition sticker. Then you have the side of the package here, back of the package, which is the original um, artwork, and this is for the original um, Disruptor. And I can compare those two later on in the review, and the side is the same artwork as the back. So let's open this up and see what we're looking at. Okay, here's Disruptor out of the package, uh, and looking pretty sweet. So like I said, so we got the gold plastic and they did the brown dry brushing on the face. They could have done that better. Um, but I do like the two tones here that they did on the wrist gauntlets and the shoulder pads. So they did a gold and a silver and it's a really cool tone of gold and silver. It looks really nice. Um, you know, a wash would look really good with that too and bring out those details. All right, the purple looks nice, same thing. You could wash that, do that. I like the little effects it comes with. Looks very cool. They said nothing necessarily new that we didn't talk about um, with the pack or what is in the package. Um, here's the base. Base could use a little bit of dry brushing and a black wash as well to make it look more detailed. Um, and then it does come with the extra fist hands. Um, but yeah, overall in here, let's look at that face again. Yeah, they just kind of globbed it on there. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad really, but it could look better. But yeah, that's it. So let's get into the uh, the articulation real quick. Okay, so the head moves up about that far. Looks down not very far because of the chin. So the chin does reach a little bit far down there. Really nice head tilt and rotation. So not bad there. So that's pretty good. Uh, the arms go up about 90 degrees, even with the shoulder pads, because they're stuck in here on this side. So they go over the shoulder there, which is nice. You have a bicep swivel there, which is good. Double jointed elbows. You have wrist articulation and pivot as well. So that's really nice. Uh, ab crunch, there is an ab crunch, I think, underneath this big thing of material. So if you look, you can kind of see there, so you can kind of see underneath. So it can't really crunch too much because of that. But you can tell there is a joint there, but you can at least get rotation out of it. Legs go up about 90 degrees. They do have a slight rotation, not much. Go up into the splits, look at that, looks nice. You have double jointed knees, then you have ankle articulation and toe articulation, and then you do have pivot. It is a sculpted joint, so that makes it a little bit tricky on this particular figure to make it do that. There we go. Um, so overall, articulation is okay, not the best, and I think this is probably the Disruptor, I believe, is one of my least favorites when it comes to articulation from the uh, McFarlane line for the fact that there's not really a diaphragm joint and the legs are kind of hard to stand unfortunately especially with the cape uh, but yeah this is one of the ones I actually used with the stand but overall you can still get it into probably some decent poses and we'll test that out in a little bit so let's do some size comparison okay so quick size comparison we have obviously disruptor in the middle to the right we have the spawn from the spawn Batman 2 pack uh, to the left we have the MK11 spawn one of the bloody variants to the far left, we have Ninja Spawn. To the far right, we have Medieval Spawn. And to the back, we have Monolith. So and as you can see, they stand roughly almost all the same height for the most part. So it looks like Disruptor stands slightly, just slightly taller than the, both Spawns. But both Spawns stand the same height. Looks like it's a little bit taller than Ninja Spawn. Looks like Ninja Spawn's a little shorter than the rest of the group. And Medieval Spawn stands, you know, about half a head taller. And then Onslaught is about chest up taller so real quick so that puts disruptor at around seven and a half inches tall which makes it roughly around 19 centimeters so as far as height goes it fits in very well 
Okay, and here's both the disruptors next to each other. Um, to do a little comparison, I mean, it's not necessarily a fair comparison, I would say, because I did customize the one on the left, the original. I uh, just did a wash on it and then did some silver highlighting on the uh, stone bits that were on them just because I thought it made it pop a little bit more. Um, but you can see, so obviously everything is exactly the same besides the paint. You can look there real quick, so, you know, looks quite a bit better in my opinion. So I'll probably do the same to this one, just to get some of that to pop a little bit more, like the gold. The gold can really pop just with a wash pretty easily. So, yeah, so that's it. So the front, you got them side by side there. Side. One thing I did like about this one is I like that they did a two-tone rather than just solid purple. But what I like about this one better is I like the fact that they did the two tones with the silver and the gold rather than just the, you know, just the plain silver. Cool. So that's them side by side. So now let's get into final thoughts. And actually, before we do that, I want to know in the comments which one do you like the best. One on the right, the new one, or the original. Okay, final thoughts of the Platinum Series Disruptor. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. So um, as far as the sculpt goes on the body, this is probably one of my least favorite, I think, besides maybe the new Reaper figure, I think. Well, even that one, since I customized it, I like it a little bit better. But not my favorite mold um, as far as it goes. And the abdomen, there's not a lot of articulation, but there is good articulation everywhere else, like in the arms, the legs, etc. And you can still get into sort of dynamic poses. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's a pretty cool figure, and I like that they did the gold and purple and silver. And they went more for, like, the anti-spawn look because I, I actually really, really like that. So personally, I think I like this one better than the original, in my opinion. But like I said, post in the comments which one you like better. Do you like the original or this better? And then, yeah, I'm going to customize this a little bit and see what I can do to it. But overall, not a bad figure. So uh, glad I picked it up. So thank you all for tuning in today. Um, appreciate the support and the reviews. We keep getting more and more subscribers. So continue to support the channel. And, uh, you know, I'll keep bringing reviews, customizations, uh, more top 10 lists, et cetera, to you. So, um, yeah, so check that out. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.